We're now going to talk about an important consequence of the fundamental theorem of line integrals for conservative vector fields. So first we need a definition. We say that a curve C from the point A to the point B is closed if A equals B. So this is just a curve that starts and ends at the same point. Now, if f is conservative, and if c is closed, then the integral over c of f dot dr, well, if so, conservative means that f is the gradient of something, so let's say a lowercase f, um, so then the fundamental theorem of line integrals tells us that the integral over c of f dot dr is little f of b minus little f of a, but since a equals b, this is zero. So the integral of f around the closed curve is zero. Now recall the physical interpretation is that the integral over c of f dot dr is the work done by the force f as you go around the curve c. So the physical interpretation of this equation would be that the work done around a closed curve is zero. Um, as this is related to conservation of energy, so conservative has to do with conserving energy. For example, let's suppose um, F is the gravitational field. Suppose our curve C, or a closed curve C, is a road. So it's a, it's a loop. You start out at the same point. Now, let's just suppose hypothetically that the gravitational field looks like this. So as I've drawn it, you'll see that it's it, this always has a um, positive inner product with the velocity vector of c. In other words, as you go along c, um, the gravitational field is pushing you along the curve C. So if I were riding a bicycle along this curve, that didn't come, picture didn't come out very well. Okay, anyway, if I'm, if I'm riding a bicycle around this curve, it's downhill the entire way. So like, suppose this is my house, and suppose my office is over here. So when I ride my bike to work, I just coast downhill the whole way. And then when it's time to ride home, well, I don't want to go back this way because then I have to go uphill. So I just go the other way and then I coast downhill all the way home. That would be awesome, right? Um, but that doesn't work in real life because there's conservation of energy. So if the, if the gravitational field were like this, then, um, so for this, for this vector field, for this, so for this picture, the integral over c of f dot dr is bigger than zero. So I could get infinite amounts of energy by just, for free, just by sort of coasting downhill around this loop over and over again. In real life, you can't do that because energy is conserved. So this, this vector field is not conservative. Um, so the real gravitational field is not like this. So the, the real gravitational field cannot be like this. So the gravitational field cannot look like the following picture.
Okay? So that should give you some idea of where the term conservative comes from. And in the next lecture segment, we're going to prove a more general theorem about this situation.